Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. Uh, I'm in the garden right now, and it's uh, it's in the evening time. It's quiet. It's beautiful. The sun is uh, cool down a little bit. Uh, in this video, guys, I want to show you guys my only, only single pumpkin that I actually grow from my pumpkin plant. So basically, most of the pumpkin were dying. Uh, some of them got eaten out by, uh, you know, some kind of bug, uh, some kind of bugs. Uh, look like squash bugs or pumpkin bugs or something like that and then some of them were just rotten out so after that I, I did some pruning from the start of the plant I'm gonna show you guys and um, I did the one thing that I did guys and I'm gonna show you when I go back there I actually with the root inside I had to dig down gentle around the root and start adding some compost and um, after adding some compost some natural compost guys let me you know what let me show you guys what I'm talking about so you guys understand um, basically what we're looking at right here it's a weed I'm just gonna get that out so as you guys could see these are eggshell with regular compost that I've been doing for a while now so my my pumpkin plant wasn't growing everything was dying so what I did guys I dig down the soil underneath and I put compost from the bottom and I cover it up with some soil and then from the top too I still added some compost because I'm gonna put some more soil later on over here and as you can see I I'm telling you guys I prune and I also I was having some of that bugs that up uh, what do you call it like the vine borders so I sprayed a bunch of um what do you call it soap water I was mixing the soap water and I sprayed right through and I'm gonna show you this guy he just run run I'm gonna show you guys right now he just ran so basically this pumpkin plant is just running and he's running running and he's going going and guys I'm telling you the only punk the only pumpkin that survive from this one pumpkin plant is right here guys monster <laughs> So that's it guys, so there you go. That's my one and only pumpkin. And just to show you guys, the video and the picture doesn't even show. Like I'll put one of my big gloves there. And look, the gloves can't even cover it. Like, look at the size of this like massive. It's growing and I, I'm telling you, oh look, there's a bug right there. And I'm telling you, this guy has been growing. And if you guys see on the bottom, I put a, um, as you see, if you guys see in the bottom, I put a piece of cardboard. And even if you have like soil or, you know, this fabric fabric that I have here, uh, the water could be moist and it could be ruining and damaging your pumpkin from the bottom. So I would recommend a, a cardboard, guys. You know, gently have somebody pick up your pumpkin if it's massive or even if it's not massive. I would recommend somebody to help pick it up. One person pick it up and one person put a, a cardboard underneath. Please be gentle or else, uh, and it could broke off easily, which is not good. So I, you know, try not, try your best to get somebody to help you guys. But as you guys could see, you know, I I basically, guys, I bought this pumpkin seed from Amazon uh, thinking it was a Halloween, you know, thinking it's a Halloween pumpkin because it did said orange, you know, pumpkin. Um, and it's, it's more towards yellow than orange, I would say. Guys, I'm telling you for the one pumpkin only that's growing right now in green tea garden this thing is massive guys like literally like that's my hand and it's like nothing uh the one more thing what i'm what i've been doing too i've been did some research uh when to get your pumpkin growing more big and um you know getting the max size of your pumpkin is when it's the hot sun you want to get something and cover it up so i normally i have an extra cardboard box that i put over there when it's the hot hot sun but um, as you guys could see, this thing is a massive. This is the biggest pumpkin. Um, I mean, this is the biggest pumpkin I ever grew in my whole life. You know, this is amazing. Like I'm, I'm so blown away by this, guys. Lately, as I said, a little pruning, uh, give it some natural compost, guys, eggshell, and uh, whatever you get from your house, and you put it all in the compost, and. You know it comes in really nutrition and helpful for the plant so there you go i just wanted to show you guys my pumpkin and uh you know i'll give you guys my tip and show you guys what i did no you know nothing really too special or crazy you can see the side of it it's just it's just amazing guys this really amazing giant pumpkin guys i can't even believe it
So guys, I'm telling you, I can't believe how big this pumpkin is growing. And it's weird because as I told you, I was losing all my pumpkins before. Another tip guys, water. I mean, I water, I water almost every day. You know, it depends if it's really, really hot, the humidity is really high, I'll see the leaves, they get dried up a little bit. I'll water, just water lightly in the morning and lightly in the afternoon. The afternoon time, guys, gives it a nice refresh. So it, it helps grow more in the night because most of your vegetable grows in the night. So adding a little bit of water in the evening, in the evening time, not too late in the night, just the evening. I would say five, six in the evening will give it an extra boost to grow in the night and your plant is hydrated and you'll be getting the best out of your plant. And I'm gonna keep you guys posted when I'm ready to harvest this guys. And you, I'm, even when I'm cutting it in the future, I'll show you guys how it looks because I'm really excited and super, super excited to see this guys. All right guys, so subscribe is 100% free and don't miss out for more videos on Green Tea Garden guys.